What well, going on guys, it's your boy Jack, aka the Balding Refine, coming at you today's video, which is upgrading the filters on the 80,000 litre show pond, and also collecting a giant surgeon, and yes I mean giant, this bad boy is over 1.25 metres in length, and some big coit as well, so let's go. Okay, so for those of you that are new to the channel, hello, my name is Jack. I am indeed the Bald and Reefer, or should I say bald now. I specialize in tropical, cold water, pond and marine fish. As I've just said, this video is all about monster filters, monster koi, monster sturgeon, all being added into the 8,000 litre show pond. We've got him back, the invisible man. He's here, people. He's got his camo shirt off today because he realized that nobody could see him on last week's video and he was severely, severely disheartened about it. But it's okay. He had a little cry and a cuddle on the left shoulder and he's back to fighting form now. We've also got Handsome Chase with us. Now, Handsome Chase, would you like to tell the camera while you've got your uh, hoodie pulled around your face? Uh, Did you have a few too many drinks last night? Possibly. Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Could you stomach a bacon sandwich this morning? No. <laughs> he can't hack it, people. He can't hack it. Let me snap back to you in a second when we've got these bad boys loaded up on the IBC tote in the back, and then I'll show you us adding them into the 8,000 litre show pond. Then we're going to go and collect the monster, monster filtration. I know um, a few people were saying that they don't think the filtration was high enough for the pond what it was currently. So we've been scouring around the internet and we've managed to find an absolute bargain on a big, big, big company koi filter. Um, so yeah, that's coming back with us today as well. Stay tuned and stick around to the end, guys. Okay, so here is the behemoth sturgeon. And don't forget people, this is done in a wide angle lens. Two shabunkins, a little tench. Um, the koi as well, which is if you hold against the size, so we can get the uh, the size on it. Doing really, really good. Uh, I think it is a, a, a soggy. Um, but yeah, let's get these into the pond, and we'll snap back to you in a second. Okay, so we've got the big surgeon. We've just created a uh, sling for him out of a uh, out of an old pond liner. We've just gone for the plop and drop method, obviously with him being so big. But as you can see. He is ginormous. Absolutely massive. He's going to look absolutely incredible in his new forever home. I've got a funny feeling <clears throat> he's going to go from here straight over to there and join his, uh, join his other sturgeon mates. But come on, pond is looking tremendously well. Yeah, looking absolutely incredible. Let me start back to you in a second when we get the new filter, and then I'll show you the pond once it's settled down again a little bit later on today. And some Jace is going to show us uh, how to hold the carp. Yeah. I mean, he is the unofficial carp whisperer of the channel. Uh, uh. What we're aiming to do here by putting a tension and a carp is to give different uh, water feeding levels on the pond. Ooh. Again, here he goes. Looking absolutely stunning. And there he is. Off to join his pals. Let's go chase him around the other side. Right? See if we can see him. Absolutely incredible. Big sturgeon, he's around the other side. I'll go over there and I'll give you a shot of him. Hold it now, two sex. So here's the big sturgeon in there now. He's looking absolutely incredible. He's a big, big lad. There's a tench going in, obviously this is a, uh, bottom, a prolific bottom feeder, so again it's going to help keep down the algae control and any uneaten food that's on the bottom of the pond. There we go, tench are always difficult, sorry Ben, tench are always difficult to see in a pond. Well, yeah, everything's doing well, like I say, a little bit of protein issues, but by the time we get this new filter on later on today, we're absolutely fine. Okay, so here's the new souped up filtration. Uh, it's coming off a very, very lovely show pond. 
Um, hair and protector. Oh, there's even a cat in there as well. What? That was interesting. Um, but here's the filtration that's coming back for day of show pond today. As you can see, it is absolutely huge. Like me. Just like Ansem Joe's. As you can see, his hangover is uh, slowly but surely starting to uh, dissipate as the day goes on. Uh, but yeah, humongous filter. It's going to be absolutely incredible. There's a 36 inch vortex on it. It's the three stage Cockney Koi. I will put the full filtration details in the video description down below. Unfortunately, this isn't going to be installed today. We're just going to be taking all these out and then uh, taking it back to Dave's with us. Okay, so as you've just seen, that's the filter uh, that we've just been down to collect. I say just earlier on this afternoon, uh, it's just been an absolute mad, mad bank holiday uh, Saturday for me. Uh, ben and Jace running all over the country today, sorting out various different koi bits and pieces. Some amazing content coming out, guys, over the next couple of weeks. I know this one's only been short and sharp, but you've all been asking for big updates on the 80,000 litre show pond. Hope you like the big 1.5 metre sturgeon um, and the big mirror carp, as well as the uh, other carp that are in there as well, uh, and the other koi. Uh, the tench as well and obviously the Shabunkin goldfish absolutely amazing I want to give a big thank you um, to the man and wife um, of Facebook which are local to me that actually donated the koi um, and the surgeon to the Ball and Reefer channel uh, they're going to be there in their forever home now um, can't wait to give future updates on these guys again follow me on social media Facebook and Twitter is at the Balding Reefer Instagram is slightly different that's at the dot balding dot reefer but as ever, stay safe, stay sane, and most importantly, people stay happy. Balding Reefer, out.